Welcome to Beginning Arabic 2. How to get started. This course starts at a mid-beginner level. That means you should already know the alphabet and some basic grammar and vocabulary. First, we'll review some of this basic material and especially some grammar that was taught in the 101 course. Then we'll move on to the new material. You'll notice that there are readings in each lesson. This will give you good practice. Each lesson also has audio and video material so you can improve your listening skills. As you learn more grammar, you'll also write more. In terms of grammar, by the end of the semester, we will have covered all three basic verb tenses, present, past, and future. You will learn how to use higher numbers correctly and how to tell time. There will be a lot of new grammar to cover, too much for me to list here. Each lesson has a topic with its own vocabulary. We'll also have some class discussions about some cultural topics. We don't have time to include informal Arabic in the class, so it only teaches modern standard Arabic. If you know spoken Arabic already, please be sure to use only standard Arabic. Non-standard forms will be considered incorrect. Let's go over the materials you'll be using. The course site in Blackboard has the basic information you'll need about homework and tests. Click the syllabus link on the sidebar and choose Overview of Assignments. The overview shows the objectives and assignments for each week. The numbers match so you can see which learning activities to do for each objective and then the assignments you need to turn in for grading. It also shows the number of points for each exercise. The learning activities are not graded. They are meant for you to learn or review the new concepts. However, the quiz on the lecture is graded. All the graded work is due on the Sunday at the end of the week. You can also see that some of the items are colored. This shows what kind of activity they are. Red for oral work, green for listening, blue for reading, and purple for group or partner work. The classwork is explained in even more detail in Assignments. This is a link in the sidebar on the left of the course site. Each week has its own page, and you can click on the links within the page to view and submit the assignments. You'll see a list of objectives for the week, and a checklist of all the graded assignments. Underneath, there's a link for each assignment with directions for how to complete it. You can submit all your written work through assignments. To submit your written work, you can simply click on the appropriate link in Assignments. Please don't submit it by email, because Blackboard is the only official way to keep track of what has been submitted. I also prefer written work to be typed or pasted into Blackboard. It is easier to grade this way. If this absolutely does not work, you can attach a document in Assignments. For oral work that you do on your own, you should click on the Voice Board link in the sidebar. This will take you to a new list of only the oral assignments. Click on the one you want and record your work. Please make sure to check the sound quality. The microphone in your computer is probably not good enough. You should have a headset that records clearly and try to minimize background noise. Most weeks we will have an activity called Culture Talk. This is done in the voice thread. Here you can watch videos of your classmates and record your own. There will also be activities to do with your assigned partner. These are done in Blackboard Collaborate. You will join a session together and record your conversation so that I can listen to it later. Blackboard Collaborate allows you to draw and write while talking. It's best to speak with your partner only in Arabic. You will be able to resubmit some of the homework after you get feedback. There are more details on the course site under Announcements. Your homework should usually be typed, not handwritten. Since you'll be writing more in Arabic now, you'll want to have an Arabic keyboard on your computer. 
This is a setting that you can switch so the keys type Arabic letters instead of English ones. On the Mac, go to the International menu in Preferences. On a PC, go to Clock, Language, and Region in the Control Panel. If you run into problems, please call Tech Support. The short vowels and some other symbols require you to use the Shift key on an Arabic keyboard. The course site is a supplement to the textbook, so you'll need to have the textbook as well. The book goes over all the important grammatical points and has the exercises in it. The lectures on the course site cover the same grammar that's in the book in a slightly different way. For some of the learning activities, I will ask you to check your answers in the back of the book. Please be careful not to do this for the graded work. I need to see the work you can do on your own, and you need to know what your own skill level is so you can be ready for the exams. Ahlan wa Sahlan, the name of the book, also has a website with some interactive exercises. First, you'll use the exercises from the workbook, which we're not using, to review your basic skills. These will be automatically graded so you can see how you did right away. Then you'll use some of the later ones to learn new material. The exercises are sometimes the same as the ones in the book, but they have different numbers, so please be careful. For example, you might see in assignments that you were supposed to do AWS, that's Ahlan wa Sahlan, 2-8 for learning, and then do exercise 2-8. These are probably two different exercises. The weekly grammar lectures have a short quiz. This is to see whether you understood the explanation. You don't have to take it right away. You can watch the lecture again, read the book, and do the learning exercises first. Once you take it, you cannot take it again. There are two major exams in this course, the midterm and the final. These are proctored, which means you need to go to your testing center to take them. Make sure to get your pass first. Go to the syllabus link for directions. There's a link there called Taking Exams and Using Exam Passes. It's very important to check when the testing center will be open, how you can park, and when you need to get there. Often the testing center will require you to come in a few hours before they close to make sure you have time to finish the exam. Each exam also has an oral part, which you can record at home. We'll have an online class meeting every Thursday night. I hope this will be a good time for you to ask questions about grammar, pronunciation, and vocab before the homework is due on Sunday. It's not required to attend, though. Another way for you to ask some questions about the class is in the open forum. This is a good way to talk to each other. The best way to get in touch with me, though, especially if the question isn't relevant to the whole class, is by email. I don't check the open forum as often as I do my email. Nova has assigned me a telephone number, but since I don't have a phone on campus, it only sends me a voice email. You can always ask to set up a meeting time with me if you need some extra help. I'm sure you can tell already that this course will not be the same as a regular one. There's more technology, more equipment required, and a lot of things to keep track of. But I know you can learn a lot and get a good grade if you follow these tips. First, make sure to look through the whole course site. You want to know all the information and policies that are there. I can't remind you in person of all the things that are posted on the course site, so please click on all the links and make sure you know where to find things. Also, I can't be with you to give you step-by-step -step directions before you do the work. I've spelled out as much as I can in the written directions. If you carefully read the book in course site before submitting the work, you'll have a better chance of getting a good grade. If you're not sure what the directions mean or how to do an assignment, it's better to wait. Then, please ask in our class meeting or email me. It's a lot easier to figure it out beforehand than to do the assignment twice. Again, there are several ways to get help if you're having trouble keeping up. You can email me or ask your classmates for clarification in the open forum. Eli also has student success coaches who can help you if your life is very busy and you are short on time. 
or if you are struggling with how an online class works. For technical problems with the course site or your equipment, you can contact the Eli Tech Support. They can answer your questions about browsers, Blackboard, etc. The most important tip I can give you is to put in the time necessary. Even if you read the book and watch the lectures, you'll still need plenty of study time to memorize the new vocab and grammar and practice your skills. People say Arabic is hard, but it's really a question of time. Arabic takes more time than some other languages. If you are patient and put in the time required, you'll be surprised at the end of the semester how much you've learned. Hez Saeed. 